What's up guys, it's Fun Ape here, and welcome back to my daily series where I go over my top 10 favorite Pokemon of each type without doing duplicates. Today I'm going to be going over my top 10 favorite bug type Pokemon. Now as I said in the last top 10, bug types aren't exactly my favorite type in the world, but there are a few hidden gems in there, so time to go over uh, my top 10 favorite bug types. Be sure to let me know down in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it, what are some of your favorite bug type Pokemon, if you have any bug type Pokemon in common, and if you have any video suggestions for the future, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. So without further ado, let's get into the video! At number 10, we have Buzzwall. Now I can't lie, Buzzwall is literally only here because I needed a bug type slot to fill, and I couldn't think of any other bug types. But that doesn't mean Buzzwall is shit. It's actually really, really cool in my opinion. I like the fact that Buzzwall is literally the Pokemon version of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Like literally, that guy has mountains for muscles. So does Buzzwall. And literally, he is just absolutely ripped. I don't really like the fact it looks too humanoid to me, but I do really like how it basically flexes mid-attack and mid-faint. Like, if you've seen him in the games, you will know that every time he attacks, he always goes like this just before he attacks, and he also does the exact same thing when he faints. I find that quite entertaining. At number 9, we have Center Scorch. Now, I have never used a Center Scorch in a playthrough before, mainly because I always pick Cinderace, and I never do type overlaps, so I can't use Center Scorch. But that doesn't mean that I don't like it. Center Scorch to me is definitely one of the best Pokemon to be introduced into the new generation. I do really like Center Scorch though, its design is really amazing. It is, well, a fire type, so that gives it extra bonus points. And I do quite like his G-Max form, even though the only difference is that it gets bigger and it's basically got lashes made out of fire. But still, it's really cool, and I do like the fact that every time it attacks, it basically turns into a radiator. That, to me, is kind of cool. I don't really know what puts me off about it, but I feel like there's something that puts me off, like... I don't know what it is, honestly, like... I honestly thought that Center Scorch would be a lot higher than this, but... I don't know, there's just something that just... doesn't make me want to put it any higher on the list, like... I don't know, maybe it's because I have more attachment to other Bug-type Pokémon? I honestly don't know. At number 8, we have Araquanid. Araquanid is by far one of the best design Pokemon I've ever seen in my life. I have only used it in one playthrough of Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, I believe it was. But still, that one playthrough I used him in, he was a monster. Araquanid to me is just by far one of the most badass bug type Pokemon I can think of. Araquanid looks like it will drown you in its own bubbles and then finish you or leftovers off while you scream for mercy. And I love that. Araquanid to me is just by far one of the best Pokemon I've ever seen and it is so strong. I wish I could use him more. But I prefer using Swampert over Araquanid. So yeah, I'm not sure if I'll ever use it again, but maybe I will one day. At number 7, we have Levani. Now, Levani's pretty much only here for the fact that I used it in my very first playthrough of Black and White. Mainly because I loved Ash's Sawaddle. It was just so stinking cute. And I loved it. Like, it was just so cute and cuddly. And I love the fact that basically when you put your forehead on the horns on its head, it basically it means that it really likes you or saying hello. But like, it just is really, really cute. And Levani was pretty good in my first playthrough of Black and White. 
I do not use Leave Annie anymore. Probably because it is extremely fragile. Like, literally, even a fire spin could probably knock it out. But still, I do have a lot of fond memories of using Lee Vanny in my first playthrough of Black and White. And, who knows, maybe I'll give it a go again, but... There are just no need... There's just no need to carry around a grass or a bug type in Gen 5. But, who knows, maybe I'll try it again. At number 6, we have Pinsir. Now, I'm just going to make one thing abundantly clear. Pinsir would not be this high unless I used it in my Let's Go Eevee playthroughs. Because you need a bug type on your team in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. You would, you would either need a Scyther or a Sizzle. Uh, not Sizzle. Either a Scyther or a Pinsir. And, yeah. Pinsir is your only option for bug types. Well, only good option anyway. For Let's Go Eevee. So I picked it up. And it was a monster. Pinsa was just one of the best Pokemon that I used in that game. It wrecked Sabrina's entire team on its own. That to me was just absolutely badass. Just one sword stance, along with Brick Break to take care of Mr. Mind's Reflect and Light Screens, and then just X Scissor the entire team. That's how my battle went the first time I went up against Sabrina and Let's Go Eevee. And it just wrecked. Emphasis on wrecked. It was by far one of the strongest members on my team, and definitely one of the most valuable. At number five, we have Cypher! I'm not sorry. Cypher was by far one of the best bug types I've ever come across. I do prefer its evolutionary form, but I do really like Cypher. I did use it in my Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu playthrough, and it wrecked the crap out of so many people. Like, I definitely prefer Cypher over Pinsir, because Cypher actually did more work than Pinsir, mainly probably because of the added bonus of being flying type. But still, Cypher was by far one of the best Pokemon I used in that game. I love Scyther. I love the fact that it's just one of the best Pokemon I've ever seen in my life. Plus, with those blade-like arms, I bet it'd be very handy in the kitchen. At number four, we have Genesect. Now, Genesect was a pretty decent Pokemon. I don't think I picked it up in the black and white event, but I did really love the Genesect movie. I also loved the shiny Genesect. Oh boy, was that thing a badass. Genesect was just one of the best Pokemon to be introduced into Gen 5. I don't really say that often because Gen 5 was by far one of the worst regions in my opinion. But it was really good in some areas. Genesect definitely being one of those areas. I loved its shiny. I think I did pick one up in a wonder trade. Probably hacked, but I don't care. It was by far one of the best shinies I've ever owned, and I just love Genesect's design. I also quite like its background. Basically, it got well weaponized because of Team Plasma. It kind of reminds me of Mew 2, but Genesect is. Well, different. It got weaponized. It got added more stuff to it. Mewtwo was just a clone, but still, it was quite cool. I can't lie. At number three, we have Vikavolt. Oh boy. As soon as I saw this in the Sun and Moon trailer, I knew this was going to be one of the first Pokemon I was going to put on my team. Because Vikavolt is by far one of the best designed Pokemon I've ever seen. Groven was the first Pokemon I ever caught in Sun and Moon, and it was pretty good. It came in clutch in so many different situations. I just wish that Charger Bug evolved a lot earlier in the game, because having a Charger Bug literally at the end of the game, and then finding out that it evolved into Vikavolt literally on the place that's basically Victory Road, 
kind of pissed me off. But I can't lie, I did enjoy the fact that when and I could use Vikavolt earlier in the game, I kind of enjoyed it more because I could get Thunderbolts at a much earlier point in the game. Not to mention, Vikavolt is just absolutely powerful in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I tried it before and it was godly. Oh, I just loved it using that Biker Vault. I just really love Biker Vault. Plus, it's shiny as badass. I wish I could hunt one, but I just... I don't really like the a um, SAOS, uh, SOS well, chaining, because I've tried it so many times, never c encountered a shiny, and it fucked me off. So, yeah, maybe I'll try Masuda Method, see if that brings be any better results. But still, I love Biker Vault. At number two, we have Heracross. Oh my god, I love Heracross. I always make sure that I pick up a Heracross in the Heart Gold and Soul Silver, and I always try to use him on my team because I love Heracross. This may sound a little bit sexist, but. I usually go with the male Heracross rather than the, the female Heracross, mainly because I prefer the design of the horn un for a male Heracross than the female Heracross. But still, I do really, really like Heracross. I always use it in a Heart Gold and Soul Silver playthrough, and it is extremely powerful in those games. I wrecked the crap out of Whitney's Mill Tank. Plus, if you remember when I attempted to do a playthrough of Hard Gold and Soul Silver on this channel, which I decided to quit halfway through because nobody watched it, I did use a Heracross on my team, and it Oko's all of Whitney's Pokemon. That being her Mill Tank. It one hit KO'd her Mill Tank. And I was going over the fact that it, she was really hard to beat, and yet that Heracross one hit KO'd her. So, that definitely makes me feel somewhat more attached to Heracross. And finally, my favourite bug type Pokemon of all time is Volcarona. Oh my god, I adore this thing. It is by far one of the best Pokemon ever. It's probably literally the only reason why I play Gen 5. Literally, Volcarona is by far the one of the best Pokemon to be introduced into Gen 5. A close tie would be a different Pokemon, but I probably am not going to mention the other Pokemon, because I'm going to explain that in a later list. But still, I adore Volcarona. Its design is amazing, I love its type, and not to mention, I love the fact that I encountered a shiny Larvesta full odds in a Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Basically, one day I was exploring the Mirage Islands on the back of my Ilotios, doing ing this and that, and then I actually encountered a Larvesta. And since I hadn't caught one yet, I thought, hey, why not catch one? I need one for the Pokédex, and I do really like Ike Volcarona. So, I encountered it, and it was shiny. And I literally was screaming my head off when I found it, because it looked so amazing. I caught it first turn on the quick ball, and it actually had a competitive nature. So I EV trained it, gave it as a competitive moveset, and it is boss. Oh my god, it is so strong. I still have it to this day, and I love it. I cannot get enough of Volcarona. And now it guys, hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did. Be sure to let me know down in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. What are some of your favourite bug type Pokemon? If we have any bug type Pokemon in common, if you're enjoying this series, and if you have any video suggestions for the future, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. As you know, it, this is a daily thing, so tomorrow I'm going to be going over my top 10 favourite rock type Pokemon. So be sure to let me know if rock types are one of your favourite types, 
Let me know what some of your favorite rock type Pokemon, and be sure to come back tomorrow at 4 p.m. So you, see, so you can see if any of your favorite rock type Pokemon are some of my favorite rock type Pokemon. Did you enjoy the video as much as I did making it? If you did, be sure to give it a massive thumbs up, comment down below, share this video with a friend, and if you're new, subscribe to my channel, it's been Inferno today. Okay, that's all for me, so until the next time, this is Inferno, signing off. Bye!